Okay, joined by Sinead O'Hare and the Dublin ladies. Captain Sinead, massive congratulations. Dublin are All-Ireland champions once again for 2020. You have to be in what's a the very strangest of strange years. A big congratulations and a great way to end the year. Yeah, um, you know, you said yourself, strangest of strange years. Here we are on the, the 20th of December. It's, uh, it's mad. I mean, you know, we came in today and it was, you know, glorious sunshine and you're finishing up in uh, pitch dark. I feel, like, I feel like I've been here for days, but uh, no, it's, it's, you know, fantastic feeling and uh, it'll be a good Christmas for us. Uh, running out, you mentioned here, I mean, obviously the place is empty. We're in Empty Crow Park today. Running out and from the tunnel here before the game and playing in front of an Empty Crow Park, did that have much of an impact in terms of getting up for the game today or in terms of playing the game today? Um, I think it was probably a, you know, a lower key uh, build up to the match which you know, probably helped but uh, look, that said we came in a bit flat today um, just you know, a bit of nerves or, or whatever it was in the first half making poor decisions so it took us a while to settle but um, you know, a, a really good second half from the girls and you know, yeah. it That third quarter in particular because again you were three points behind at half time by the water break in the second half uh, you were, uh, I think it was a five points to one, or five points to one swing, or a swing, or a swing around, a five points clear at that stage. So that third quarter in particular is the real kind of uh, key part of the game, I guess, the winning of the game. Yeah, um, you know, I think we stepped up, uh, put, put, put a bit more pressure um, on, on Cork higher up the pitch. And uh, look, they, they put in a huge effort in the first half as well. And, and maybe that was just beginning to, to tell. And we brought on a couple of bodies, which, you know, made a big difference as well. So, you know, we, we, we found a way once again to, to unlock, uh, you know, a, a tough a tough team. So, um, you know, delighted with that. You're the first uh, player to captain a team to four successive All-Ireland Ladies titles. Uh, that's some achievement. Did you ever think that was possible when you started your career with Dublin all those years ago? No, look, to be honest, I suppose 2017, I almost gave it up. Um, you know, when we came back, it was it was a hard three years for us before that. Um, so, look, you know, hugely privileged when he asked me if, if, if I would, would take the captaincy and he's, he's kept faith in me over there the year so you know massive honour for, for me on behalf of the girls to be able to, to do that. Like you mentioned already this has been such a strange year what's it been like this year in terms of coming back obviously after the break after the lockdown and coming back in around September and training with the girls over the past few weeks and months to get prepared for the championship and to get prepared obviously for an All-Ireland final today it's been crazy How, how's it been for yourselves in terms of training and, and doing all that? Yeah you know it's been a much more condensed season I suppose for us um, normally Without a Leinster Championship, um, you know it's kind of a slower build-up. But uh, it was it was you know straight into the fire this year with, with Donegal in our first match, and uh, you know that was a huge battle for us. And taking that through to you know to Waterford and, and, and Armagh, we you know we had some some huge contests this year, but really enjoyable football. Um, thankfully, p- uh, pitches and, and conditions held up, um, and we got a great day today for the weather. So obviously we've missed the social side of things this year. It's um, you know it's been harder with you know not being in dress rooms together and, and traveling together, eating together, all the usual kind of stuff. So that kind of team aspect. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's more demanding for players, but uh, just massive character from the girls to, to keep going through all that. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully have a, a low key, but, uh, you know, get, get a chance to spend a little bit of time with each other, hopefully, uh, you know, when, when things are, are safe to do so again.